Good evening. Today's tutorial is about uh, level 2-5, um, light follow. The goal is to make your bot follow a, a beam of light through a path on this level. Um, and let's get started. You will probably run into some issues with this one if you try to solve it the easy way, but I'm going to show you how to get past that. So, first off, we're going to use the P6S, and as usual, I'm going to show my snap lines and place the wheels. Um, what we need next is the, um, I'm going to place this one, the light sensor. You can place them basically anywhere, just not too close together because they will show two similar values. They, they will, uh, they will uh, output a value of 0 to 1000. I found that about here works fine. And as usual, you want to name those to left and right. All right, let's go to the circuit board. Um, I'm going to show you the a way that works in in theory. I mean, it, it works fine, but the light stops at the end of uh, just before the finish line, which will make your bot stop. So I'm gonna show that first and then show the solution to how to get past that. Um, so how you would usually do it is to use uh, two less than gates. So if the if the uh, left sensor connect, connect these two if the left, left sensor outputs a value that is lower than the right sensor and vice versa for the other one if the right sensor outputs a value that is lower than the left sensor you will have to make it turn left or right I'm going to show you how it works. It's going to follow the light and um, it's going to hang on to it until the end, but the light will stop just before the finish line. And there is a, a quick solution for that. And I'm going to show you this one first because if, if you like me like building r real bots like with Raspberry Pi and or Arduino, this would probably be the way you would solve it. But um, for this level, you have to do a little fix. Look here, and the light stops exactly there, and the bot won't cross the finish line. So how we're we going to solve this is to invert the logic. We're going to use two greater than gates instead, and not gates. So the logic now is going to be that if the the value from the right light sensor is more than the one from the left sensor, it will simply invert how it works. I'm going to show you. Yeah, the, the bot's going to act in some strange ways, but this way will actually make you finish all the awards for the map as well, in terms of speed and, and construction price and everything. And it will only exert that strange behavior when, when it's in the light. As soon as it's outside, as you could see before, it's, it's going to just follow it fine. Yeah, that's how you do it. Um, 